As the attorney representing Adrian's trust, I'm required to read a prepared statement. Cecilia, although our relationship was far from perfect, I thought that you would talk to me rather than run away. Are you okay? Open the door! What happened to him? He cut his wrist. Per his final wishes, you're getting $5 million. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. He can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. It just doesn't make any sense. What? Adrian wouldn't kill himself. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? Don't let him haunt you. Hello? I'm scared. You don't have to be scared of him anymore. He was a sociopath, completely in control of everything. He said that wherever I went, he would find me, walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. Are you okay? Someone sitting in that chair. I found something that can prove what I'm experiencing. You need help. Adrian is dead. I went to his house today. He's not dead. I have a pile of ashes in a box that would disagree with you. He has figured out a way to be invisible. Only thing more brilliant than inventing something that makes you invisible is coming up with the perfect way to torture you, even in death. Adrian's true genius was how he got in people's heads. Don't come any closer. Hey! I'm not crazy. Please listen to me. You're saying the person trying to kill you is in the room right now, but we can't see him? He's listening. Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself! Come on! Do it! There you are.